What is going on trainers? Troy back here with episode number 59 of 6v6 Singles Spectacular. Yes, this one is actually episode 59 of 66 Singles because the last time I know I said that it was 59, but I actually skipped 58. So that last one that I did a few weeks ago, that was 58. This one is 59. And this one is actually versus a really good friend, Josh. He's also known as I Poke Shuckles on uh, YouTube. He is a fellow Poke YouTuber. Really cool guy, uh, really cool channel, so please go give him a check out, go subscribe to his channel. I'm going to leave all of his links down in the description down below, and he's also a fellow head coach of the EXPNU PU League that I am also a part of. He is the head coach of the Cherry Grove Slowpoke, so if you're going to be a big fan of the EXPNU PU League, go give him a check out because you're going to see battles on his channel, and then, you know, of course, battles will be on my channel about that. But that's going to be later. Right now, we actually have not a PU battle, but it's just a regular regular uh, a few uh, OU but I guess you know regular uh, below mixed tier whatever Pokemon battle and before we get this battle get going uh, 40 likes for battle be awesome and also subscribe to you know my channel too but I mean no more importantly subscribe to Josh's channel that would be more to me so let's get this battle started up so I see uh, the one big problem I really had I was like man the one Pokemon I had to say was the Mawile, if it was going to be Mega, because that could have been Mega Heracross, and I still didn't really know uh, what was going to happen. I had a feeling he would actually open up with the uh, Rotom Heat, knowing that I'd open up with the Save Lot, but he actually had a probably feeling that I was going to open up with Rhyperior, and goes with the Jealous, and so I'm like, fine, I guess I'll bring out Save Lot, whatever. And uh, so I'm going to see him go for the Scald, really trying to go for the Rhyperior. I'm pretty sure Rhyperior would have got down to his sturdy one health. And all I would have done is set up Stealth Rock, so it really was no point. And I am pretty sure I would have been faster to Jellicent, so I probably would have been able to get a hit, but either way. So I do uh, take that Scald pretty decently. I do get a really good foul play on it, knowing that I could take the Scalds after my leftovers. And at this point, I can take a few Scalds. I got to take one more. I, I know I wasn't going to kill with that foul play, so I was like, well, now I got to... You know, hope for the best and just recover and see what's going to happen. So we both got leftovers, so that's all uh, uh, obviously annoying. Uh, so right now, uh, he's going to withdraw the Jellicent, which is, uh, you know, kind of something I thought was going to happen. Maybe he thought I was going to go for the uh, will o -Wisp, but I kind of wasn't. I just wanted to go for the recover. Uh, would have been a good call for me, yeah, to go for will o -Wisp, but I mean, I would have died to the skull anyway, so there's no point for me doing that. Uh, so I guess nothing really happened that turn. Uh, we make a lot of really good plays throughout this uh, whole battle, actually. It was really good. So uh, I go for the taunt, knowing that maybe it will trick, actually. And then, as you see, he was going to go for the will o -Wisp. will o -Wisp or trick. Either one, I knew he wasn't going to straight up attack me because, you know, he I could overheat. And I could definitely live it. So now that he sees that he's taunted, he really has to attack. And I can totally take that attack and just... You know, hit him with another attack. So he brings back out Jellicent. I switch out Sableye, uh, going for my Crawdon because I knew if he was going to force to attack, it would be a uh, fire attack. So Crawdon can definitely get a really good switch on that. So either way, it didn't really matter. Crawdon came in really clean without taking any damage. So that was really good and uh, okay on his part because then the Jellicent was able to come out and get free health. So he switches that out, brings out the Mawile, and I'm like, okay, so uh, I get a free hit on this Mawile. I can knock off whatever item it's got. And then I see. Yeah, the not very effective move knocking off the life orb. So I'm like, okay, this thing's not mega, and it's not going to take that next crab hammer attack. So really questionable bringing out the Mawa. I would have expected also a sucker punch. Uh, so now that I see this hair cross coming, I'm like, okay, this thing's going to mega evolve. I know I have focus sash on my uh, Crawdon. I really couldn't take the skill link moves. So I just had to bring in Sableye, hopefully he can take it, and I can hopefully willow with this guy. So he goes for the mega horn. I'm like, oh, so I guess this guy isn't going to mega. Um... Okay, so a little confusing so far. I'm wondering where the uh, Mega Evolution is coming in. Either way, whatever works, works. Uh, so uh, I'm going to keep the Sableye out for right now. I went for the will o -Wisp. He per perfectly predicted that one. Br just brings out the Rotom Heat, and that's nothing going to happen. Uh, so right now, I just get uh, free leftovers. The Rotom Heat staying over there. And at this point, I'm like, man, how am I really going to take out this Rotom Heat? i got to have Crawdon, but he's obviously not going to keep... Um, him out with the Crawdon too, so that's definitely a thing. So now he goes for overheat, probably just to see. Maybe I could kill this thing with the overheat. And as you can see, the overheat will be enough, even with the special attack dropping. It doesn't really matter. He takes out Sableye. That was the one thing that was going to stop Heracross. And so yeah, uh, definitely one thing down. A really big threat for his team, gone already on mine. The battle just still started. So he goes for another overheat. And even with the special attack drop, I'm not going to take a whole lot. I'm like, what? I took a lot of damage right there, even though it's not very effective. 
already lost a special attack, and I still take more than half. That was ridiculous. I was like, is this a specs? Um, a uh, Rotom Heat? That would have been just that been crazy if it was. Uh, so I go for the D-Dance because I knew I could take that attack. Now I'm going to have plus one attack and speed, so I'm pretty much in a really good position right now with my Crawdon. Uh, the Focus Ash is gone, but that's whatever. Uh, so another good call by him on the Switch. He's going to get the Water Absorb because he knew I was going to Crab Hammer, and I did anyway. Uh, so that was definitely not a good play. If I would have been even more on top of my game, I would have knocked off. But I really had a feeling if I would have knocked off anyway on the Rotom Heat, I wouldn't have killed it and then uh, Chrono White died. So I go for the knockoff again anyway. He brings out the Latias and then I really, it was really questionable about that play too. Um, maybe the Jelson could have took it or maybe he valued Jelson more than the Latias or he could have just brought out Rotom Heat. Who knows? Uh, so the Latias just gone out of the battle and then I see the Heracross come out and then I'm like, okay, I guess he did have to waste one Pokemon because he knew the Heracross was... In fact, Scarfed after I figured that, uh, even after my plus one speed, I figured out the Heracross was Scarfed and it was able to take out my Crona. And it gets a Moxie boost, so that is definitely scary. So I'm looking at a Scarfed Heracross, close combat, and only close combat, and it had a Moxie boost. But I guess Metagross was uh, enough to scare it off because I could have gone with the Mega Evolution and Zen Headbutt. And I think I would have been able to live the plus one uh, close combat. And then I probably wouldn't be able to kill it, so uh, it was a good uh, chance for him to switch out and bring in Jellicent because he probably knows that Jellicent can take this uh, Zed Hub, but pretty nice, but as you can see, it does a ridiculous amount of damage. It almost brings him down to about 20, that was almost like 30% left. Uh, so he gets some leftovers, that's not bad. I go for another Zed Hub, but uh, maybe uh, he felt like uh, letting this one go again to bring back out Heracross to see what's going to happen. Uh, so he lets the... Uh, Jellicent died. Probably could have brought in Rotom instead of letting the Jellicent die. That would have, might have worked out a little bit better. Uh, so I see the Rotom now. I'm like, well, the Rotom's probably faster than me. And definitely Overheat will kill me. So I'm going to bring it right here because it can take a fire attack very well because it will be not very effective. And uh, even though it's an Overheat, it is a strong move and stab. But I do get below half on a not very effective crit. So I guess... Uh, the crit def definitely put me below half, and that will get my Citrus Bear going. It's going to get me uh, right above half. I'm like, yeah, I can take another Overheat, which isn't that bad. Uh, so he switches out again, knowing maybe uh, I could go for a Stealth Rock. That would have been a really good uh, play for me to do that. But I just went for a Stone Edge anyway, maybe to get some free damage on Rotom Heat. And he avoids it, which definitely was not good. And then I just pretty much knew, well, my Rapier is done for. It tried to get free damage on the Heracross or anything else. And so I just let Rapier die. So I pretty much wasted Rhyperior right there. So that did not really work out. Uh, so, uh, now, uh, he brings, I bring out the Metagross, and I'm like, okay, I think I can take the, the Moxie close combat. As you can see, I do with but barely, barely any health. And then now I just gotta hope the Zen Headbutt will actually land, and it does, because it does have that really small chance to miss, I believe. And it can get, you know, a super effective crit, so I, I don't think the crit really mattered. Um, but yeah, <laughs> you know, and um, so that was it. Uh, so brings out the Rotom. That was his last Pokemon, I believe, at this point. I do go for the Bullet Punch. I knew, uh, you know, Mega Metagross was dead. Uh, it, it, he went for the Volt Switch. So yeah, he did have, uh, I believe, Ursa Ring left. That was right. He had Ursa Ring left. I haven't seen that Pokemon the whole game. So it was a really good play for him to go for the Volt Switch because now Ursa Ring is going to come back. It's going to come out first. And I'm going to see that, but it's also going to get his uh, Toxic Orb and his, um, Mo or what was that one move, or the ability, I, I forget, <laughs> the uh, Guts ability, that's right, I for almost forgot. So now I got my champ, I'm like, okay, uh, I know that I'm Scarfed at this point, and I can just go for a Dynamic Punch, I know that thing's not Scarfed or anything, it's going to take out the Earth's Ring, very unfortunate for him, he now realized that, that my Pokemon was, uh, the Scarf Pokemon was my champ, and uh, so now, and then as you can see here, the Rotom Heat could have come out. He could definitely take the Dynamic Punch, even though it's a really powerful move. He barely lives with Sliver Health, and even with the crit, it would have probably maybe brought him down to below half even without the crit. But he does get the Confusion, and uh, oddly enough, I will get the Confusion to kill it. Uh, it would have been questionable if the Confusion didn't happen. I think I would have lived the Overheat he had coming, and then I would have Dynamic Punched again. And I did have Porygon Z. Porygon Z had a Life Orb. Uh, in the back. I didn't use Porygon Z at all. Definitely Porygon Z could have killed it, but again, I don't know if, uh, I think with the special attack drop, I would have lived overheat. So kind of hard to say uh, a win from him could have came out of that, but definitely a great, great battle. I gotta say, um, 
definitely came down the wire. I was a bit worried with when I saw that Choice Scarf Heracross. I did not, did not expect that at all because it just wrecked the Crawdon. And then obviously uh, the uh, Rotom Heat giving me more problems than I really thought. Uh, so that was the battle, episode 59 of 66 singles. I really hope you guys uh, enjoyed the battle. I always leave the question of the day now at the end. I should have done it in the beginning. Oh, I forgot, but uh, please answer the question of the day I'm going to give for you guys. Uh, it's going to be a general question. Uh, what would be like one place in the world you've always wanted to visit for like maybe, you know, a day or a week? Who knows? Just any anywhere you know i don't even care anywhere any country anytime so favorite you know vacation destination i might have said that before who knows but uh yeah that's the question today so go leave that in the comments answer anything else again go check out josh i poke shuckles on youtube go check out his channel and uh yeah 40 likes for balance subscribe for you know me and him if it's your first time ever watching me and you, you like what you see and hopefully you like what he sees or what you see on his channel yeah other than that, you guys know how I end all my battles. Good luck in all of your next battles, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.